Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating realistic grass in Rhino 7 using scattering tools. We're going to be using a plugin for this session called Rhino Grow and this can be downloaded for free on the website Food for Rhino and I'll put a link in the description of this video for where you can download this plugin. I'll quickly show you how to install this plugin and then we'll go over how to use it to create this realistic looking grass effect in this file. So you can download the Rhino Grow Beta version here and with that downloaded, if we go back to our Rhino model, we go to File, Properties, and then in the Plugins menu, we can hit Install here, and install the Rhino Grow plugin there. Now I've already installed it in my machine. So once that's installed and we hit OK, you then want to open up the toolbar into this menu. Now I already have mine open here, which you can see there. But if you haven't, you can go to Tools, Toolbar Layout, and you'll find that there's a Rhino Grow panel here and you can just click on the tick box there and it will open up the Rhino Grow toolbar. Now, now we've got that installed, we need to create our grass texture. And the way we're gonna be scattering our grass is we're actually gonna be using lots of very small little 2D grass pictures to create a seamless grass surface on this terrain here. Now, for my grass texture, I'm gonna be using this texture here which we can see if I load it up, it's just a kind of image of some grass. And we have something called an alpha map or an opacity map here, which is essentially a black and white image which tells Rhino that it wants to cut out anywhere that's black will be invisible and anywhere that's white will be left visible. And this creates our kind of grassy looking effect. So in essence, the geometry is actually 2D geometry, but we're kind of applying this alpha map on to create it and make it look like it's a kind of 3D model of some grass. Now to make this as a texture, and so this texture here I got from Megascan's website, which I can put a link in the description to. That's a paid website, but you can also find similar grass textures on textures.com and you can make your own in Photoshop as well. Now to turn this into its own texture, we're just gonna make a new material in Rhino, just in the material panel here. And we're gonna make a new physically based material. Then in the detailed settings, we're gonna open up a new base color. And we're gonna drop in my diffuse for my grass in that base color. As you can see, it's now just this kind of grassy looking texture. I've also got a roughness parameter, which we're just gonna drop in the roughness there. And then for the last one, we're just gonna turn on the opacity settings. Make sure that by default, it puts the opacity as a 0.2. We don't want it to be opaque like glass. We want it to be completely solid still. So it's still a one in the opacity amount, but in the alpha channel, we're gonna drop in that black and white opacity or alpha map, and that will tell it to cut out the grass as per that map. And you can see then in the preview, we've got a cutout. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to just create a plane for this grass model and I'm going to just do that by making a very simple vertical plane here which is then going to become our grass and with that we're just then going to select our texture and apply it to the object there. If we look at it in a rendered view you can there see that that's my grass model. Essentially it's a flat 2D plane, very simple geometry and using the alpha map just to cut out that grass model there. So that's the texture and it's a very simple texture to create and like I said you can make this in Photoshop or you can download them online as well. Now we're going to be using the scatter tool to essentially scatter multiple copies of this across the landscape to make it look like a kind of seamless grass across the surface. So clicking on this scatter tool here we're going to click on the scatter option. Now it's loading up the kind of previous one I did so what we can do is going to just clear that matrices to start so we can kind of simplify it down and then I'll go through the settings on this to set up this Rhino scatter. So when you're sketching this up for the first time you have to basically follow through these options here to scatter this object on the surface. So first you need to set the base geometry and by selecting that it will ask us to pick the base geometry and for this this is the landscape or the thing you want to scatter your objects on. So for me, it's this ground here. So we'll set the base geometry and then hit enter when we've selected it, and that will set that geometry. Then we set the scatter geometry. And for me, this will be my grass, the thing that I want to scatter across there. So we select that and hit enter. 
And then we have a population amount. And the population amount is essentially the amount of times you want to copy this object across your landscape. Now, at 50, you can see it's kind of only got 50 of these around here at the moment, so it's not going to be very many, and we're not going to create that seamless effect. So you're going to have to have quite a large number to create that kind of seamless grass effect on a surface. Um, bear in mind, the more objects you have, the heavier they will be, so it's good to put them on their own layer or um, keep the geometry very simple like I have here. It's just a single plane, so when you scatter it, there's not too many of these across the landscape. Now for this, I'm going to make it as 10,000 for this particular geometry. Now we also have a scale variation, which will vary the scale of the object randomly across this surface. For my grass, I want it to all be around the same size, so I'm keeping this just off 0%, so it's going to just slightly vary the scale. And then for rotation, I actually don't want them to rotate too much because if they're rotated 90 degrees to the camera, because it's a 2D plane, you won't be able to see them. So it's good to kind of keep the rotation quite low there and just on the X, Y axis. Now we're going to keep it on box and we're going to make sure this orient to normals is ticked off for this so they're all kind of orientated as per the original object. They don't get orientated differently. And when you're ready with that, we can just hit generate matrices and that will generate a preview of what our scatter will look like. And here we can see there that we've now got 10,000 of these scattered across and they've got a little kind of wireframe box previewing what that scatter will look like there. Now I'm going to set it to shaded for this just in case it's kind of too low when we load it. But when you're happy with that preview, all you then need to do is hit transform geometry and it will convert that preview into solid geometry. There you can see that that's now turned it into geometry and we can close the scatter tool and we now have 10,000 pieces of grass scattered across that landscape. Now the last thing to do is test this in the render to see how this looks and now this grass is scattered across. So I'm just going to set my view and go to render and do a render preview to test this out. And here you can see, as it's rendering out there, that we've got our grass applied over that landscape there. And you can see it's looking quite effective in that way. And you can kind of scatter in more geometry. This technique can be used for trees, for other plants, for any kind of object really that you want to scatter to create this landscape. And the more I leave it to render, the more you'll kind of get rid of some of these artifacts here um, and it will kind of improve in quality. So that was just a quick video tutorial on how to create a realistic grass effect in Rhino using scatter tools such as Rhino Grow. Thank you for watching.